This video shows the Avarice with iCub learning to reach and grasp objects using processes similar to those in human infancy. Initially the robot is constrained so that it can only move its eyes. It performs motor babbling movements and learn how these movements cause objects in its view to move. After just a few minutes of learning, the robot has learned how to move its eyes to look towards objects in its environment, although some targets can't be reached by the eyes alone. Once the iCub has learned to control its eyes, a constraint on neck movements is released. It can now learn how to move its eyes and head together and fixate on targets which were previously unreachable. After just a short while, the iCub is using its eyes and its head to look to targets. The next joint to be released is at its waist. This enables the robot to look even further around its environment. Now once it's learnt how to do that, it starts to learn hand-eye coordination by moving the joints in its arms. It waves its hand around in space and uses its cameras and the movements of its eyes and its head that it's learnt to keep track of the hand. And the robot is learning the positions of the joints in its arm that correlate to the positions of the motors in its eyes and its head. So in the future, if it wants to reach to a position that it can see, it can read off the positions of its eye motor and its head motors and find the corresponding arm motor positions that will put its hand back in that location. With arm control mastered, the robot begins to use all of these abilities to try and interact with objects. Now, just like an infant, we have to give it some support and help it to do things which it still finds quite difficult. Here we're moving objects closer to the hand to help it grasp them. So here the robot has reached out to the object, grasped it and picked it up and it will now try and put it back in the same position. And this is using the correlations it's made between its visual and its motor systems. Now the grasp that you, the robot uses is reflexive. We've programmed it so when the hand is near the object it will automatically close. And this is just what you see in very young infants. We're now going to try and persuade the robot to pick up the red object. Both objects that it can see have a novelty value associated with them, and currently the robot is particularly interested in the green object. By moving them around, we can get the robot to pick out the red as the more interesting object and the one that it wants to pick up. Now the positions of these two objects are such that the robot needs to use its torso to move and grasp them. It can't simply sit with its torso stationary and reach out to the sides. So here the robot is having to use all of the sensor and motor systems that it's developed so far to reach out and grasp these objects.
the facial expressions of the robot changed to show that it has managed to succeed in a task that it's trying to do. In this case, picking up and moving the object. What's exciting about this is that the whole cycle from learning eye movements all the way to reaching and grasping has taken just an hour to learn, which is very fast for a robot.